Hello everybody and welcome back to 5 Minute Crypto, the channel where we cover the most important crypto news in just 5 minutes back again with another crypto update. And guys, things over the last 24 hours have been very interesting, specifically because Bitcoin just had its third rejection at about $45,000. Right now, we're trying to basically find a bottom with the closest one being the 50 EMA here at 41.6 thousand. But if we zoom out a little bit, and this is what I'm doing right now over on the hourly, actually zoom in, sorry guys, you can see that right now we are facing some very juicy support here at the $42,000 level. It is looking as if we're bottoming out here before looking at a very juicy swing towards the upside however and that's the most important thing to realize right now the price action is surprising for example, take a look at the price action from the last couple of days. Over on March 2nd, we first had a false breakout towards the downside before having a recovery slash false breakout towards the upside before coming right back into the little triangle before. You can see what I'm trying to say here, guys. It's been it's been it's been playing around with our emotions for a good little bit. Now you can definitely try to restructure this a little bit to fit your needs if that's something that you're interested in, to potentially make it look like this. I would definitely still say this suffices where it actually broke out towards the downside but even if we were to build this structure it never had a proper downside confirmation as you can clearly see here it just broke out towards the downside uh, for just one candle however the next candle was bullish again and the next couple of hours again the price action was not necessarily showing anything too decisive except for this retest here of the quote-unquote resistance at about forty-four thousand dollars to the dot uh, you can see that's basically the point where the trend line uh, hits and the resistance is found before breaking down towards 42,000. And right now what it's looking like is that we're going to be building ourselves all the way back up supposedly to this little resistance that we faced uh, just now. So at about $44,000 or even a little bit higher. Now, over the daily, stocks were not really doing too well, but honestly, these minus 0.5, minus 1% days are not really that unusual anymore, and it's not necessarily a one-to-one -one anymore, as if when the stocks go down, the entire crypto market should move down. However, there is some logic to be deduced from this, which is, okay, so in the stock market, people were in bullish, so generally speaking, in the money markets, people are not so excited, which most likely is a good reason for Bitcoin to go down as there really aren't any other major negative factors that I could have found around here. So I am assuming that there is still this little underlying correlation to stocks that's going on over on a weekly is looking similar as on the daily, which is that right now we are facing some resistance at this area right here. It's just basically the, the triple top that we've seen over on the daily. We can clearly see here, we've been resisting, resisting, resisting at this point. And so, well, 44.4, whatever zone I told you guys yesterday, basically, since we didn't break out towards the upside, which again would have looked like this, basically a bullish candle with the confirming candle afterwards we shouldn't have taken the long position here and yesterday i showed you guys martini guy who was going long which was some wishful thinking because since we did not break through you shouldn't take the trade and so anybody who did take a long position let this be a lesson it is sometimes the wishful thinking that gets you burned all the way because you are hoping that we're finally going to break through things are looking like it but it just doesn't have to follow that we only trade if there's proper confirmation and right now again what is looking like is that we're going to be forming a bottom at $42,000 and going to have a skyrocket back all the way towards $45,000 before breaking through this time. But can we confirm it? No. And so if we want to make a proper trade, the way we have to do it as it currently stands is look at, okay, what different cryptos can we really trade? XRP, well, it is still trading its little demand zone slash supply zone for XRP right now. It's hard to say where this is going to head except for the fact that it broke out towards the downside just a little bit, uh, kind of bounced off of the uh, moving average before coming back in. And there's a good chance we're going to just trade sideways until something happens in Bitcoin. Again, guys, on the short term, I'm still expecting XRP to hit 86 cents, very, very short term. But for Bitcoin, what our plan is going to be is even right now, right, I'm honestly saying we can try take the quote unquote gamble and just get ourselves from $42,000 all the way back up to at least 44.4 with a stop loss I would say at about 41.5 or so. 
Um, and I guess we can just kind of hold on to that because if the stop loss gets hit, there's a very high probability we're going to be moving downwards a little bit lower to about $40,000 anyway. Uh, but there's a very good chance that this was a nice bottom that we're forming and we're going to be moving up. And at some points, it's worth to take that risk, partially because whenever I check all the other YouTubers, the majority of them were saying, oh, the bull season is finally, but bull season is finally. Well, it's not been confirmed, but it's looking as if we are, again, over on a weekly, making these this first higher low of sorts and so we're finally going to start moving back upwards and I, I i'm just honestly thinking here on the weekly here we can definitely close on a lot of different points but call it wishful thinking but it's a little hunch that we are gonna just kind of bounce back from here we can actually again for a daily close close anywhere above 42.1 thousand dollars and it'd still be pretty fine pretty content with all of it as it's a good little retracement but really not saying too much. So generally speaking, guys, I'm still bullish. Nice little bounce of $42,000. We're going to take this one. I honestly think this is a very good position for a long uh, position for right now. And uh, that was it. Make sure you check out Bybit. Link is down below. There's some crazy bonuses. And I'll see you guys again in another video later today. Now, finish advice.